something else I wanted to show you, and that is about moving and rotating objects. So we've already discussed W, E, and R, switches these things, particularly Q, W, E, and R, switches between these bits and pieces around here. Or you can press the space bar to toggle them. If you go and left click and drag either of these arrows, then of course the object moves in that direction. But sometimes they're difficult to reach, like my x-axis is at the back and it's really tricky to reach. Well, there is a funky feature for that, and that is if you hold down control and then left click and drag, then the object moves along the x-axis. Likewise, if you hold down control and then right click and scroll uh, or go left and right, then the, the object moves around the Y axis. So X is the left mouse button, Y is the right mouse button. And then if you hold down control left and right together, we go and do this up and down. So that is quite cool because it works in all these manipulators. It's always like control left click is X, control or red, <laughs> control right click is green, and then control both mouse buttons is blue. So if I go switch to the rotation, I can do this. And that's kind of cool because I don't have to worry about where is my cursor in, in relation to something else. I can just go and do, you know, do this or both of them and then it does this. So it's kind of cool for level building. It's not something I practice very much, but it's, uh, you know, it certainly works. Also works with scale on most objects or so one of those things. And that is, I think, all I have. Oh yeah, one other thing, snapping. Snapping is good. Left click and drag. You can see it kind of snaps the cube in increments. And that is up here. You can either set the amount of snapping there is, like, you know, set it to 50. This is kind of good if you're putting things together that are meant to go in, you know, so many increments, like, you know, larger level tiles. They're often like 500 or 1000. Or you can switch it off by clicking on this icon and then you can uh, smooth move this thing. And that happens independently for transform, rotation and scale. Uh, one other thing, one other thing, while we're, while we're so neatly together, let me go and rotate the cube around like this. Unreal Engine can also show you the manipulator between the local and the world rotational axis. And that is this little object here. So you can go and switch that and then you can see the manipulator changing and that'll be world versus local rotational axis. <laughs> that is all I have. And now we're going to build that scene.